Right, so if you're brave and understood, can you begin your communication presentation? Uh, hello, I'm Dr. Kuldi, one of the surgical candidate working for Mr. Man uh, at Alexandra Hospital. I want to speak to uh, Mr. Smith, a vascular consultant, to ask him an advice about a patient. May I check whom do I speak? Yes, good evening, doctor. Yes, talking to Dr. Smith. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, sir, uh, we have a one lady, sir, 54-year-old lady admitted with us, sir, with a primary diagnosis of mild diverticulitis, colitis. And she's improving on the conservative treatment on IV fluids and antibiotics. But suddenly she develops a weakness. Suddenly she develops a lower limb pain, left lower limb pain, sir, uh, which was very, uh, which was very acute, sir. And uh, on investigation or further workup, uh, her ECG show atrial fibrillation with preventricular complex and ABG show metabolic acidosis and uh, uh, hypokalemia. Uh, we are uh, arterial duplex showed acute limb ischemia, sir. We are hoping to transfer her to your uh, your, your special care, sir, for de definitive treatment, sir. Oh, is it that urgent? Can't can't that wait till tomorrow? So oh, sorry, sir, but it is. It looks. I am very much concerned. It's. It is very urgent, sir. Patient might lose his limbs, sir. So we need an early intervention to prevent the fear of losing the limbs, sir. Okay. 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 Do, do you uh, have the cardiologist uh, review the patient about the ECG findings? Sir, uh, ECG findings. Yes, yeah, sir. As of now, the our first priority to save the limbs, sir. We uh, the cardiology review can be happened uh, later on, and I suspect it is due to might be due to met electrolyte imbalance and metabolic metabolic acidosis, sir. Okay. Okay. What, what what of the what do you think about uh then the particularities that she has, sir? In view of uh, atrial fibrillation as well as the acute limb ischemia, I am suspecting a uh, mesenteric ischemia. Is probably the cause of her tummy pain, sir. Okay. Then you you do you want to scan her abdomen first before sending her? Would that be necessary? Sir, I, I think it's necessary. Yes, sir. It is necessary, sir. But as of our clinical examination, the abdomen is soft and non-tender. I need to do a serial abdominal examination, but it can be done later on at your premises also, sir. And I want to scan it with the uh, CT, I want to. I want a CT scan, and if renal functions were normal, I I can go for a contrast uh, CT CT scan, sir. Okay, okay, doctor. But the the renal function and uh, is not is not fine. So if the are renal functions are not, if the renal yes, functions are not fine, be... yes, the ABG shows uh, metabolic acidosis and then hypokalemia. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, sir, I will. I will correct the metabolic acidosis. I will correct the. Uh, I will try to bring the atrial fibrillation to the normal rate. I will. Uh, but sir, along with that, if the renal functions were not normal, I can go for MR angio or uh, arterial duplex, both for and CT angio angiography, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. Then and could could uh, you could you manage this uh, case? How how could you how will you manage the case? Sir, uh, as primary concern is the metabolic acidosis as well as acidosis, uh, metabolic acidosis and electrolyte imbalance. I will start the patient on uh, correction of the hypokalemia. I will correct the uh, atrial fibrillation. I will, uh, as I'm suspecting uh, 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 acute limb ischemia along with my uh, mesenteric ischemia, I will start the patient on anti-thrombotic, anticoagulation therapy, and I will correct the metabolic acidosis, sir. Okay. Oh, tell How will you manage the... Sir, I will, uh, for atrial fibrillation, I will, yes. uh, for atrial fibrillation, I need to, sir, for atrial fibrillation, I need to go for cardioversion and anticoagulation anti therapy in the form of a fra unfractionated heparin or a fractionate, uh, like 5,000 uh, unit per bolus. And for the, sir, uh, for the acute limb ischemia, sir, I will go for thrombolectomy or embolectomy, sir. And if uh, if the uh, limb is viable, sir, I can uh, go for bypass procedure also. If the limb will not be is not a viable, I can go for amputation, sir. Okay. okay. All right. So, what will you tell our family? 
sir i will i will prognosticate the family regarding that patient develop a acute reduction of blood supply to his left her left limb which my, which requires an under, uh, urgent intervention under urgent intervention to save the limb sir okay okay so, so that we are transferring to so that we are we are transferring to your uh, special care sir okay no problem how you manage the hypokalemia sir uh, we uh, we need to see what is the uh, sir we will manage it by giving the kcl 100 milliequivalent per liter sir according to uh, how much we need to correct as uh, as the chart show it is minus 3. Uh, it is minus 2 uh, it is 2.6 milliequivalent so I, we need to start it uh, 10 milliequivalent over uh, over uh, every hour sir till and then we recheck sir okay all right you can send the patient no problem we'll be expecting her Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. How I'm trans you transferring transfer? the patient. What then? I will transfer. Who is going to follow sir, the will... patient? Sir, uh, we will follow the patient, sir. We will transfer the patient in ambulance with the monitoring, cardioversion, and CPR, CPR equipment, sir. Who are we? Okay. You, you say I will be. Sir, following. could we transfer? Can we transfer the patient, sir? What type of ambulance would you require? Yes, I will be. so ambulance will be equipped with the monitoring as well as cardioversion and well as well as the cpr equipment sir okay did you discuss okay. the, can we transfer the patient under your special care sir yes he spoke about that he mentioned about the mesenteric ischemia and other different sir my differential will be appendicitis cholecystitis Uh, okay, cholecystitis okay. ectopic pregnancy it can be it can be infective endocolitis it can be perforated viscous okay. it can be pancreatitis sir okay sir can we transfer the patient the to your special care sir uh now uh, we have yes he discussed that he discussed yes, it yes. he said he's going right. to send the patient first first yes mm. good okay Maybe you at can the end the you patient. can. Yes, you can send the patient. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I will follow the patient, sir. Okay, no problem. Talk And I will, uh, I will accompany the patient with. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, in this one, you don't have to summarize it at the end again. Because uh, yes, you discussed it, and he said, "Okay, he'll take it." Yeah. Ma'am, is the time left actually? Yes, few seconds were left. That's why I was making three seconds. Now. One minute was left. So, yes, Doctor Abbas has the hand. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Um, I'm concerned about his management. You had prompted him like twice to explain. the how you would correct the hypokalemia the atrial fibrillation and then the anticoagulation so um i don't know i think um, it's also important to talk about okay um he you, when she um, you were asked about some correction of the the management plan first you talk about how you because you start from the most likely thing that will kill the patient then to the least likely one so the first thing is the hypokalemia So you talk about how you correct the hypokalemia. Talk about um, administration of the various um, intravenous infusion um, with um, um, normoxaline or dextrose with potassium containing fluids. Correct the hypokalemia. Then um, um, you can talk about um, the um, under ECG monitoring and all that. And you talk about the atrial fibrillation too. Then that's you talk about the mechanic, the electrical and the chemical cardioversion where you can use amiodarone. Um, then it's good to talk about the doses too. I think it's sixty milligrams. Um, then talk about anticoagulation. Now that the anticoagulation, um, you should. I think it's important. Yeah, you mentioned um, unfractionated heparin, and you can also talk about the pos possibility of also using low molecular weight heparin too. Then it's not just enough to talk about that. You can talk about the use of a Fogarty catheter. when especially when the patient presents within a 46 hour period time frame then and then the possibility of also doing vascular bypass 
um especially when it, it yes. has been it's late so Even it's important like to talk middle, about that i give him hint as well so Yes, okay. Yeah, exactly. That was my point, yes, Ma. Like you were trying to push him, but I don't think because I wanted him to describe, <laughs> like explain, not just say I'll do that, I'll do that. Okay, you'll do it, but how you'll do it? Uh, but in the real exam, then examiner will be asking, so then he'll explain it because I'm sure he has the knowledge. But your point is okay. explain a general. Sorry. Actually, ma'am, uh, I was expecting he will ask me the question, yeah. right? How will you uh, manage the vascular? Uh, how will you manage? Yeah. Uh, so I keep according to the questions because if I speak too much, it will be uh, because it is a communication skill. It should yes. be a two-way conversation Vice rather than one-way yes. conversation. What yes. I get? Yeah. Dr. That's Fabian why. Because it. Has, uh, yeah. Yes. Agree. Because this Fabian this is all written in the notes, but. But it is a phone call. It it happened. If somebody asks me thing, I will ask. I will answer. Uh, well, it is a two-way yes. communication. Uh, what I get from the yes, yes Dr. Kuldeep. But but my worry is that the reason why you had about um, um 30, 30 minutes, forty five minutes yes. after you extra was because you didn't discuss the management plan. Yes. If you had yes. discussed it, uh, you would have been able to finish it. Yes. Yeah. Point well taken, Doctor Bas. Point well taken. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Dr. Fabian. All right, Dr. Cody, that was a good one, but I want you to, to take note of something in a station like this. You did well, you did uh, follow the script, but there's something you missed, which is very, very important. You missed the task, really. After you introduced yourself and introduced the patient, introduced himself, you, in introducing the task, you said you want to seek for advice. Meanwhile, the tax went on straight to tell you that to refer, to transfer the patient to a vascular surgeon. So, and I noted it, you said advice. So okay, you should look at it. And you have to, yes. yes. And you uh, have to come out straight. You have to, excuse okay, me. Right. You have to come out straight with the, you have to come out straight with the reason why this is an emergency. And you have to tell the man that you have a patient that has acute limb ischemia that you seek to transfer immediately to you. Because if I was the one that did the, if I was a consultant you are calling, I will tell you that you are wasting my time. You are still giving history. Then why are you calling me by this time? Do you understand? Okay. So you need to, yeah. you need to make it more catchy. Mm. That's where I, what I my observation. Uh, uh, Dr. Fabio, that's why I used when he asked uh, when he asked uh, whether it is urgent or not. That's why I use the term. No, no, I, no, think I mean, very much I mean from the beginning. It. No, I mean from the beginning. Yeah. From the yeah, beginning. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah, okay. Point well taken. Actually, yeah. I thought ki, uh, it advice uh, uh, as per the term advice contain everything. Everything, matlab, it is including no, that uh, transfer, like transfer, your, and the you. No, transfer it should be transfer. A... Refer the patient for transfer, it's transfer. But advice is like your yeah. seeking advice okay. when, once you cannot. So he's kind of right that you have to be clear in what you want. Okay, good. Yes, Thank you. Dr. Duffer, do you want to add anything? Thank you. No, they add all everything. Just I want to say about the line of the management. Sometime in the in the recall and in any notes, they give the summarize. In such case, from the first, not just go jumping to the. I, okay, I will treat the hypokalemia. I will treat AF patient with the ischemic limb and uh, unstable, so he's a critical care. So we need to start A, B, C, and continue in some wise way. Uh, Dr. Duffer, uh, actually, uh, because I think it is a communication skill, I we need to give a crisp of the patient details to the doctor who is on the opposite side of the conversation, as well as to give the points, highlighting point, how to manage rather than uh, because everybody expect that we can manage the patient by ABCD or CRISP protocol. I think uh, in the communication, we just have to give the highlights yes, yes. how to manage but, but what I understand. Should be giving oxygen. 
should be give a, a nasogastric tube, fluid, potassium corrected potassium, IV correct AF. Yeah. Okay, what do you want to yeah, say? This, have a management yeah, this, like this should be given, but this have to be done at the. Uh, I think they want you to have the management like, tell like the a critical care. The order, yes. So critical care section. Yes. yes. So, so I will do it. I will give him nothing by mouth. Oxygen, IV fluid, correct electrolyte, correct uh, atrial fibrillation. Give him anticoagulant. Just that all. So it is, uh, we add just the three word or four word, but it has become more clearly, you will give a good idea how to manage all the patients. Yes. Cool. Point well taken, Dr. Duffer. Good. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. I will include in my next conversation skill yes. station. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.